my name is Kristen Mitchell and I teach first grade at Hopewell Elementary. I just like being with the kids. I absolutely love being with kids all day. I love the energy that they have, the excitement they have for learning, especially still in first grade. They just love being here. They love learning. Um, they love each other. They love school. There's just so much that they're just happy about. And I, and I just feed off that energy. They have great energy. She walks around the room and like, she sees if everybody does it right and if they accidentally does it wrong, she tells us the answer. We don't sit down much, um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I just, I love moving around the room. I love visiting with kids and it just gives me an opportunity to see how they're working and it gives me, you know, even if they're off task, it gives me an opportunity to redirect and have a moment with them, a one-on-one -on -one moment, and that, you know, maybe helps get them back on track and uh, moves forward and lets the learning continue. She is amazing with our kids. She knows so much about them whether it be here at school, what they're doing at home, and she's constantly relating to them, whether it be in their stories, uh, that they're reading or writing, she is on top of it. She is the best teacher and that she helps other students whenever they need it. I'm a military spouse, and so in the last 20 years, um, my husband's been on active duty for over 20 years, we have moved around and we've lived in seven states and overseas, and you know, no place has really felt like home. And we knew coming to this assignment here at Fort Leavenworth, this was going to be our, our last duty station. Coming here in 2019 when our building opened, it allowed me to like, we were all new to the building and we all had to start, you know, our Hopewell family. And so I instantly felt a part of the Hopewell family and that just continues to grow each year. And it, just knowing I'm just, this is home now. And I just, I really feel that. Good morning, Mrs. Mitchell. Good morning, Dr. Coward. How are you? We are doing great. We're doing heavy. Wonderful, and, and you guys are working so hard. Can I interrupt your class for just one second? And uh, what were you getting ready to share? Oh, she is my letter holder when we do Hegarty. At the very end, we do our letter name and letter sounds, and I okay. always pick a student to help. Perfect. Do we need to finish that before I do this? Nope. Okay. You sure? Pause our timer. Please. Can we pause our timer just a second, and then we'll have you come right back up. Is that okay? Okay. okay. All right. We'll do that then. Boys and girls, it is so good to see you today. And I am Dr. Coward and I'm the superintendent of the school district. Do you guys know what that means? So as you do know, what is that? It's the boss of, it's the boss of the principal. It's the boss of the principals is right. And so you guys remember that from kindergarten? You have such a smart class, Mrs. Mitchell. I am so impressed. It's because I'm in kindergarten and you know my teacher got did she get a Star Wars too? Yeah, well, the, the okay. Well then, shh, let's be. Let's make this sure this is a great surprise for Mrs. Mitchell because Mrs. Mitchell, I am here for you today because you are our pre-K elementary star for the month of October. Oh. You were nominated by one of your families for your compassion, for your absolute, always expecting the best for every one of your students and always caring about them so much. Those high expectations. Your communication is off the charts. They absolutely love you and they know that their child is going to have the best year ever because they're in Mrs. Mitchell's class. And so I want to congratulate you. I know you're about in tears. So here's a certificate for you. We also have a star for you because everybody gets a star as we do this. Would you guys give her a big round of applause? 